This short tutorial will show you how to use the Cisco SPA 504G phones on the Interface Technologies VoIP service. We have two handsets here. One is programmed to an extension 201 and one is programmed to an extension 202. The first feature we'll be showing you is how to place a call on hold. I'll be dialing in to extension 201 now and showing you the hold button. The hold button is the hand located right here. You can see a phone call is coming in. You would answer by picking up the handset and by pressing the hand. It's now holding. You will notice the light is flashing. You can reactivate the call by pressing the button again and the call will be connected at the same time. Now we're going to show you how to forward a call from the Cisco SPA 504G phone. You have a CFWD button, which is the third button over. In this case, I'm going to forward calls from extension 202 back to 201. You can also forward to an outside number. So you to enable call forward, you press CFWD, enter in the number or the extension you want to dial to, and press dial. You'll notice that it says calls forwarded now. From this phone, I will now call 202 and it will send the call back here. Notice that a call is being forwarded and it's coming back to 201. We can also do the same thing with outside numbers by doing a call forward to an outside phone number. Just CFWD, enter in the area code and dial. To remove call forwarding, you press minus CFWD. That disables call forwarding. The next feature is the Do Not Disturb button. Anytime you enable Do Not Disturb, calls will be redirected straight to your voicemail. To enable Do Not Disturb, press the fourth button on the right, which says DND. Once enabled, you'll see it says Do Not Disturb. Now when somebody calls this extension, it will go straight to voicemail. To disable Do Not Disturb, simply press the minus DND. The next feature would be how to dial an internal extension. To dial an internal extension, enter in the three or four digit extension of the person you wish to reach. In this case, I'm going to call 202 from 201. Key in the extension and dial. And the other party would pick up. The next feature is the speakerphone and adjusting the speakerphone volume. The very bottom button with the speaker icon on it is your speakerphone button. To enable the speakerphone, simply press the button once. To adjust the volume of the speakerphone volume, you'd use the volume control button to go higher and to go lower. To stop speakerphone, simply let go of the button again. Adjust the volume and you want to press save. To stop the speakerphone, press the speakerphone button. The next feature would be a three-way call between three parties. In this case, we're going to have a party calling into extension 201 and we'll be joining in with 202. We have an incoming call you pick up the phone and answer. There is a conference button which lights up. These buttons will change along with the options that would be available at that given time. It would say enter the phone number or extension of the person you wish to conference in. In this case we're going to use 202 and dial 202. At this time the additional party will pick up the phone and you can let them know that we have a second person on the line that would like to join us. The first person would at this point press the CONF button. Now all three parties are connected at the same time. At this point, the person initiating the conference has the option to exit the conference call and leaving the two parties connected by pressing the join button. At this point, the incoming caller and the extension 202 would remain connected.
In this next section, we'll discuss setting up your voicemails. There is a voicemail icon which looks like an envelope. To get into your voicemail, you press the voicemail icon once. You have no messages. Press 2 to change folders. Press 3 for... Option 0 will give you all your options for the voicemail. Press 1 to record your unavailable message. The menus read out by the computer will allow you to make any changes necessary to your voicemail such as greetings, passwords, and temporary greetings vacation alerts.